Okay. We are trying this. Stop. You. Hey guys. Hey. Hi. What's what's up, home slices? It's Annie, and welcome back to my channel. So that little cheesy introduction acting roleplay thing was because it's been a while, folks. It has been um, months. It's been months. Okay. So today's video is gonna be a little bit of a catch up just kind of like what the heck happened why did i fall off the edge of the earth on the youtube game do i am i ever gonna do youtube again yada 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 because i know you guys care i know home slices i know you care but we're just gonna catch up give a little bit of context where i'm at in my life what the heck's going on what the heck's been going on and it's gonna be good i'm not gonna drag well i'm gonna try try not to drag it out any longer than this needs to be um spoiler i do want to start making youtube videos again so basically i kind of want to make this video so that one day when i do have when i do see this gap in my channel after a few months of not posting i kind of want even just for myself to know like wait why did i randomly not post for like a year it's, it's all contextual but i hope you guys can enjoy nonetheless but let's get started um so first of all just have to say i'm outside i filmed out here before but the lovely lighting is a plus the sounds such as that truck that went by at just the perfect time that's the downfall of filming outside but we're gonna try it anyway guys i'm so paranoid that it's not recording okay it says it is so <laughs> fingers crossed people second big thing i have to say is it is pandemic season so right now this is kind of for historical context right now it's april i don't even know what day it is april 17th it's friday april 17th 2020 we're in the middle of the covid i don't want to say it because i don't know if like youtube will flag the video for me like giving out false information or something but basically it's the c word virus going on right now you know what it is and um it's pretty crazy it's very crazy just really not no one really knows exactly what's going on and we're quarantining right now i'm in my hometown quarantining so overall it's just kind of a weird time in general for the literal whole world i don't have to tell you guys about that i'm sure you all know what's going on and what's happening in the world. And I don't want this video, if it comes out during quarantine, <laughs> um, I don't want this to seem like I'm just don't care about what's going on. I do. I try my best just like everyone else. So I just kind of want to make this video for like, cause this is when I have time to make it. So I'm gonna do it. So I just recently posted a video about my road trip to Texas. So that was the last video I think that I've posted on my channel um, since July. So, to take it back a few steps, when I started vlogging, when I started doing my YouTube channel, I had this small Canon camera. It's not very nice, but it does the trick for what I need to do. And that's what I'm recording on right now. And um, I had it forever, and that's what I like recorded all my vlogs on my whole freshman year of college. Then, um, I went to New York City my freshman year on a trip, and I have a vlog of that actually. And while I was on that trip, I lost my camera battery charger. And so I, once my battery ran out, I wasn't able to charge it. I couldn't, I don't know if I lost it in New York at the airport or what, but it was around that time that I lost my charger. I got the camera from Best Buy. So I thought, oh, just go to Best Buy, tell them what kind of camera I had, get a charger, bada bing, bada boo. Well, back in business, baby. However, they just don't carry them at Best Buy. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because it's kind of like an old camera, but they told me which one I needed to get though and that it was on Amazon or I could order it online, <laughs> but I just didn't do it for two years. I just kind of like was lazy, but then I started recording on my phone that summer and into my freshman year or my sophomore year and all that jazz. Um, which honestly I don't mind filming on my phone it has good quality it's really in hindsight or 
in a perfect world it's pretty easy to go put it on my phone to my computer because I have all Apple products you know it so long story short with that I recorded on my phone for the longest time so all the vlogs between the New York City vlog and now have been on my phone and it works well when I have storage and if you're an Apple user you know that there's kind of a saga with having storage at least for me there is I like I'm constantly running out of storage and then trying to delete photos back up photos get more iCloud back it up on iCloud yada 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 it's really just kind of ridiculous how much time I spend trying to free up space on my flipping iPhone I'm still team Apple what can I say it just has gotten to the point where like I have so many clips on my phone so last summer the summer of 2019 my family and I went to San Francisco to visit my brother I was gonna vlog the whole thing make a fun video but I can't I can't get the video on my phone to download like onto my phone so I, I don't I can't explain this in a way that isn't either me rambling or sounding dumb but I just couldn't get the video from my phone to my computer and it like just what it just wouldn't happen so I have a ton of clips from San Francisco I finally got the videos from Texas to work um, that's why I uploaded those but then I have just so many random clips so I'm still able to take video I just can't trans I can't upload them to my computer it just became a po to a point where I have all these videos on my phone that I want to make into vlogs but I'm not able to and so it just got really frustrating and I was like I need to buy the stupid battery charger <laughs> even though I kept forgetting and it's just it was kind of expensive it was like 30 bucks but you know how it is finally over quarantine you know I got around to some little tasks like that bought the camera battery charger and charged it and here we are folks that's kind of how I got to the point of making this video now what have I been up to lately what's my life like now Oh my gosh. No, no, I left my Walter inside. Where do I begin? Basically, I started my junior year at Iowa State. So the last you kind of saw of me, the summer was great. I lived in Ames, went to some concerts that I vlogged, saw Vampire Weekend a couple of times, went to San Francisco, hopefully that video will be up one day. Went to Lollapalooza, hopefully that video will be up one day. Um, those were kind of the big hitters of the summer little mini trips around the Midwest you know me I love the Midwest then I started my junior year here in the fall of 2019 junior year Iowa State go Cyclones baby I was pumped because it was my first semester back from when I lived in Arizona and so I was just really excited to be back in Ames with my friends back to normalcy Arizona was awesome but I was ready for some Ames action you know um, I had like super duper 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 high expectations for this year. Long story short, those expectations were so unrealistic and it really bit me right in the butt, guys. I'm gonna be honest. It was like a weird semester last fall. Um, this is our first year living in our house with my roommates. So that was super fun. It's really fun living in a house. They're great roommates. If you're watching, guys, you're awesome roommates. I love you. <laughs> but um, I was just being so, my, I was so weird this fall in general. I don't know. It was just a weird time in my life. Looking back now, it seems like so long ago, even though it wasn't. But I just really really did not feel happy like I never felt happy or excited in general it wasn't really anything external that was happening necessarily and that almost made it worse because things were going well in my life but I did not feel happy I felt very drained very burnt out and I think kind of a lot of people might go through that sort of burnout feeling their junior year maybe they don't maybe you don't um you know freshman year it is just all new all crazy not all good but you know it's like all new and so it can't help you can't help but have it be excited but then sophomore year hopefully at least for my case it was like I it was so much fun because freshman year was hard and so sophomore year having friends and community and 
roommates that I really love living with, which I, I've had great roommates in every situation through college. So that's been great. But you know, sophomore year was just like, I finally felt like I had a friend group. And so that was so, so exciting. But then junior year, you're like, you kind of have the same friends, which is so awesome. But it's just not like new, new and exciting. I just want to make it so clear. This is not knocking anyone in my life. Like no one, <laughs> there was no person in my life, my family or friends that did anything to make me feel this way. It was all me just being, having too high of expectations and like, like unrealistic. It was like wrong of me to do. And there was fun times. That's the thing. Like I went to Texas. I, you know, we had a fall retreat. I led a connection group. Like all those small things were like lots of fun. And I was like, I was happy. I don't know. It's hard to explain because I really just don't know how I felt. And that was also part of the problem is like, I just felt emotionally like I wasn't really feeling a wide range of emotions which is just weird for me I'm usually super duper emotional in every way I just like felt this shift of like almost like it was almost like I felt myself growing older old like old lady I didn't have those high highs and low lows as much it was just a lot of middle ground and that was just weird for me I I'm a high, high, low, low step gal. In the middle ground scares me and it makes me feel really uncomfortable. And that was probably a word that I would use to just describe the whole full semesters. I just felt uncomfortable. Like I never felt just like right, good. I was just uncomfortable. Like I didn't, I just like couldn't click. Um, but like, I don't know why. And, but the thing was, is I was just kind of like pushing back on the middle ground that was happening because I wanted to feel something like I wanted to feel really excited or really sad and that sounds weird but I just wanted to like feel something really intense but life was normal which was good but it didn't feel good um this is probably sounding really weird I don't want it to sound like oh, my life was normal I'm privileged and that sucks no but it was just this was all emotion this was all internal um, and I can't help that this is how I felt. And it's not like I wanted something bad to happen to make me feel something. I just wanted to feel. But like it taught me a lot in hindsight. Even being only a few months away or out of that season, it was tough. But like the biggest thing I learned is that I really, so if you don't know this about me, I'm a Christian. I've talked about it in a couple of my videos. In my life for me is that I, I do just see God in those in ex two extremes. I had to reset up here, but so if it shifted a little bit, that's why, classic. But basically, like, long story short with this, I seek God in my high highs and really praise Him when life is going really well. And in my low lows, I feel like I see. <gasps> that was so loud, I don't know if you heard that. But in my low lows, I seek him in a way that I'm like help me help me God I, I'm so helpless right now and those are both fine like seek God in those but I wasn't seeking God in the middle I was feeling very much like when I'm in this middle time that things are fine so I shouldn't be sad but I was really relying on my own self to produce happiness which is just not an expectation I can set for myself because there's just so much brokenness in the world and there's you know I'm I'm just a f flawed human being and so are all of us and just I can't be relying on myself to just make myself feel good and so I wasn't seeking God this time that I was feeling so down um, which was just making me feel more down but like rely more on myself so it's just this really bad cycle that I was in um, so I have like been really trying to learn that life is not always going to be this big crazy adventure every single day and you guys i'm not even kidding you like even a year ago you would not have heard me say that i am always been like a really hopeless optimistic dreamer extrovert like that type of person and i still am i really am no i'm not jaded 
I believe that I'll never be jaded, <laughs> but I have come to the realization that the days that feel mundane are the days that will probably consume most of my life. And that literally, hashtag, that's life, guys. It was like a harsh reality for me because I am so, yeah, every day's an adventure, every day's an opportunity for me to like try something new and meet new people. And it is, but also every day you go to class and have homework and have work what a lot of my life is going to look like. So for me to feel really dreary during that time is really unhealthy because then that means I'm going to have a pretty dreary life if I'm just relying on myself to produce this happiness. Anyway, so I'm just kind of still learning that right now, like um, how to still feel joy even when it's not coming from inside myself, friends, family, food, party, whatever. But just to be like, putting my full trust in the Lord and having joy in Him because that's really all that can get me through at the end of the day. So, sorry if that was long, but that's kind of, was really the theme of my last semester and I didn't have a lot of motivation to make videos and so that kind of is how it sort of relates back to this YouTube thing. Um, overall, I was just not feeling very creative. I was yearning for a creative spark and I just didn't have the motivation. I just was lazy and tired, sad and melancholy and felt lonely and just, but for no real reason. It was just a tough, tough time, guys. Creatively, I was definitely in a rut, which made me even more sad because when I am expressing myself creatively, when I'm expressing myself creatively, that's when I really feel like I'm truly myself. But honestly, it is, so back off haters. But one big highlight, speaking of creating, last semester in November, my roommate Lizzie and I started a podcast. So that was really fun. And I will say towards the end of the semester, I started to feel a lot better about life in general. Um, and I think that the podcast had a lot to do with it. It was just an exciting thing that I was really looking forward to, which I hadn't really felt much that semester. But basically, you know, we're both PR majors and we both think it's a valuable thing for us to kind of learn how to do to produce a podcast. Um, we both are very creative in a similar way. Like I was saying, we like to express ourselves creatively. She thought of this idea, which I think it's a great one. Go Lizzie. But it's called the Up and Up podcast. So if you want to stream that, it's on Spotify. Honestly, it's kind of hard to find on Spotify or Apple Music. It's best to search my name, which is Annie Cassett, or Lizzie's name, which is Lizzie Klein. Second semester started off so great, you guys. So great. But then this whole virus happened and Man, it's just been crazy ever since then. So the semester has looked a lot different, but um, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now. Last semester was super tough, but the semester is a lot better um, overall, like just as far as my emotion. I'm trying to think of some like pop culture things that have happened. First of all, TikTok, you guys. TikTok has been really big since I last posted a video and I am really obsessed with it. So follow me. Annie underscore the underscore poo. So yeah, I have a podcast now. I'm obsessed with TikTok. I graduate this year. I graduate in December of 2020. So I just signed up for my last semester of classes. Um, my current plan is to graduate in December, stay in Ames in the spring, then go to grad school the fall of 2021. Where I'm going to grad school yet, not quite sure but I'll keep you guys updated, I'm sure. Really, my heart goes out to people who have been affected by this. It is just so sad and weird and crazy. It's a right or wrong way to like process your emotions during this time, and I think that's important to, to talk about. Like, You don't have to feel a certain way. I think it's important to like follow the rules and wash your hands, everything like that, just for the safety of yourself and others. But as far as your emotions, like, you're feeling what you're feeling and that's okay. So that's kind of where I'm at, dogs. Sorry if this video was kind of boring. Um, it was 
kind of like I said just for context within my channel I want to start hosting more again I have some ideas I don't want to say I'm gonna do a schedule right now because I just can't promise anything but the plan is to kind of start this little channel back up again that's where I'm gonna end today so stay tuned home slices also I don't know if I love the home slice thing anymore but We'll work on that so stay tuned for more on my channel um if you watch this far dude thank you you a real one but <sighs> subscribe to my channel like i said i'm hoping to have some fun content coming out here in the next couple months overall hope y'all are staying safe and staying creative however that looks for you bye